I'm Michael Hoff, and I have unearthed a massive Roman mosaic. The mosaic is spectacular because it is extremely large. As far as we are aware, and uh, it, is a, it, it looks to be the largest mosaic of its kind ever found in southern Turkey. Uh, it's also unusual in its, um, in its preservation. It's extremely well preserved. The part that we have excavated, and we have uh, uncovered approximately 50% of it, it looks to be in pristine shape. We were surprised to have found a mosaic of such size and of such caliber in this region of Turkey, an area that had usually been off the map, off the radar screen of most ancient historians and archaeologists, and suddenly this thing comes into view. It does cause us to change our focus about what we think rough Cilicia was like in antiquity. Why is this, uh, this find so important? The reason why is because this region is not well understood in terms of history and archaeology. Uh, it's not a place where archaeologists have spent much time working in, and therefore everything that we find adds more uh, evidence to our understanding of this, uh, this area of the Roman Empire. And we're beginning to understand that it was perhaps more Romanized, more uh, in line with the rest of the Roman world than had been suspected before. I lead a team of 60 students and scholars from the University of Nebraska, other United States institutions, and as well as our sister school, Ataturk University in Turkey. I mean, we have an opportunity to get down and get dirty, uncover objects that had never been seen before by, uh, by, modern, uh, by modern eyes, so that students get to touch the artifacts, they can measure the the objects, they can understand what it might have been like in antiquity to visit a Roman temple, to walk on a mosaic pavement, to, uh, to celebrate in, a, in an athletic arena, to go into an ancient bath and experience what it might have been like, to actually walk into a still standing Roman building from 2,000 years ago. It's a rush 